85, uh, September, October, the uh, People's Association uh, called me for a uh, discussion and said they would like to form, actually they asked me to form a modern Indian orchestra. Then I said, you've got the wrong person, I'm not uh, for that. So there are many modern orchestras uh, there in radio and everywhere. Uh, if it's Carnatic, I'll think about it. And uh, they straight away said, yes, do what you think is best. But I said, I'll try to tweet it to your People's Association uh, interest. Uh, I'll try to start thinking of fusion music. You know, I didn't know what it was, but I said, I'll try. Indian music is usually a singer accompanied by two, three musicians. They don't really form orchestras. Even in India, I realized later when I went to perform in uh, Madras, that uh, orchestra is not a concept that is in Indian music. It's usually ensembles. They have small, small, and if at all they form, it's like one off occasion for a specific reason, you know, a national celebration or thing, but it's not a, a regular one. In fact, that was my st uh, stumbling block in the early stages. I don't have anything to fall on how an orchestra is run in the in Indian context. So, uh, I, I agreed to start the orchestra. I called back some of my key members from the Ramakrishna and I realized after I left that it also stopped functioning. <laughs> so I called back some of my key members and uh, they uh, came. Then I, I slowly uh, built up the orchestra. The PA was very good. They got all the instruments from India. I went to choose and uh, they gave us a very big space for our practice session. Every Sunday we gathered. Uh, it's, it's been Sunday from 1985 till now. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's now the 30th year we are entering. I've been the founding conductor and member of the orchestra. We performed for our first uh, inaugural concert. I mean, of course, we performed in temples and all that, but as a concert hall, in 1989, Aradhana in World Trade Center Hall. There was a very good reception for that by the Carnatic Music Colleges in Singapore at that time. They all said, how did I get it? And, and they were very, and that started me going to India, see this person, M.Y. Kamasastri, late, but he's no more now. And uh, I had the opportunity, somebody took me to his house and I showed him the recording we did, and I said if he could give us more. And he was totally amazed. He said, you mean you didn't have notation and you did uh, this piece, but it sounds very professional. So he really uh, spurred me up. I had told PA that I'm going to collect more scores, so I'd gone prepared monetarily to collect some pieces. But he said, uh, I'm sorry, I'm leaving All India Radio, and they are closing down the orchestra. But he opened the cupboard and he gave me all his scores, six, seven pieces. He just gave me like that without expecting. He didn't know that I was going to. But he just gave me, he said, y'all are playing so beautiful. I might, I might as well give it to people who show, uh, uh, you know, interest. And he just gave me the whole lot of it. When I went to India, I, I met with a few musicians and I realized, uh, composers, that they also like to compose this type, but there was no demand in India and they don't seem to, you know, they only want that traditional type in, in those days. So uh, when I suggested that if I could get uh, uh, permission to bring them over and do a concert, they were all keen to do. So that started another round of inviting composers to compose special orchestration music. After 1989, the first inaugural concert uh, in World Trade Center, I added another wing to my orchestra. I put a choir, a choir, you know, about six singers to eight singers I added. I had it only as a pure orchestra. And then I added the choir section. And now that has grown quite a bit into, I can even make it a pure choral, where they sing like West music, three-part harmony. So uh, that is another dimension that I took the orchestra into. So like that, each concert uh, that I did, 
there was a different flavor in it. There will be either Western Symphony or there will be Chinese. I start, I, if not the first, I think I'm one of the first to introduce inter-ethnic music into Singapore's, I think, I don't know whether all over the world, but at least in Singapore.